My name is Dr Edward Bannum Hall, consultant in acute and general medicine at Addenbrooke's Hospital. I myself passed my MRCP at the Royal College of Physicians in London and soon after became registrar in charge of organising the examination for other candidates. Since then, I've been helping hundreds of junior doctors prepare for their MRCP paces and clear this prestigious exam that lets them become a member of the Royal College of Physicians. I'm Dr Nidhi Gupta. I'm a consultant in acute and general medicine in London. When I passed my MRCP paces with the Royal College of Physicians of London, I spent thousands of pounds and hundreds of hours trawling the wards trying to find all those rare and wonderful patients to learn. Since then, I've used that experience to train hundreds of candidates to pass the MRCP paces and then inform and create this course. We've done all the hard work for you. We have found all of the cases, both common and uncommon, that you need to know to pass the MRCP paces and become a member of the Royal College of Physicians. It's important for any candidate preparing for this exam to recognise this is very different to your part one and part two examinations. This is not a written paper and you need a completely different strategy to get through this exam compared to the earlier examinations you may have already sat. In particular, you can't revise for this exam just by doing MCQs and you can't revise for this exam just by reading a book. You need exposure to clinical signs that patients have. These can be rare patients that you may only see on exam day. With this course, we've got video content covering hundreds of rare conditions that you need to be aware of to pass your MRCP paces. We've got examples of post-polio syndrome, Marfan syndrome, pulmonary stenosis, tricuspid stenosis, you name it, we've got it covered. You can prepare by lining up cases of rare heart murmurs such as aortic stenosis with mitral regurgitation and you can listen to them side by side until you're completely confident telling them apart. Don't leave it to your exam day. It's also important for candidates to understand it's not just about finding the examination and clinical findings, it's about presenting yourself and those findings efficiently and well. Many candidates fail on this. And so as a result, with each of our cases, there are gold standard presentations given by ourselves for you to learn from and practice to make sure that you've got every aspect of the PACE exam covered. So far as our teaching style is concerned, we take a very simplistic approach. We will guide you through each case and provide all the information you need to learn everything you need to know for the MRCP PACES. We never embarrass, humiliate or denigrate people who are preparing with us and we always make sure we explain things as in a simple way so that when you get to your exam day you have a complete grasp of the facts that you need to understand to get through that exam and get your prestigious Royal College of Physicians qualification. The traditional way to practice for the MRCP PACES exam is to trawl the wards whilst trying to still do busy unsociable jobs. We've taken all those problems away. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, you can fit your revision around you. Whenever you want, time and again, you can return to the same clinical signs again and again and again until you know them perfectly. We welcome feedback and we answer all the emails you send us. We are here to support you in making sure that you pass your MRCP paces. So all that remains is for us to wish you the very best of luck for your revision and for your exam. Good luck. Good luck.